Hello and welcome to Retro Breeze. Having box art for your game collection is a nice way to elevate your experience with the Miu Mini. In this simple tutorial, I will teach you how to add your own box art to your Miu Mini's game list. We're going to approach this in two different ways. The first way is super quick and will show you how to find and add your own box art manually. This is important to know as it will give you an understanding of how the Miu finds and displays box art, and it can be a good option for adding either custom images or just a few at a time. The second approach will show you how to generate box art automatically for your entire collection or specific systems. If you want to skip directly to that section, you can use the timestamps, but I do recommend learning how to do it manually as well. Here I'm using Final Fantasy VII as an example. As you can see on my mini, it doesn't have the lovely box art that the rest of the games in the list have, so let's go ahead and add it. We'll power down the MiU now and insert the SD card into the PC. Now we're going to get some box art. I'm just searching Final Fantasy VII box art using an image search. Ah, here's the one I want, the European style like I had back in the day. We're going to save this file, open it in an image editor, and then resize the image so that it has a width of 256 pixels. We'll keep the aspect ratio linked so the height is automatically changed proportionately. On Windows, we can easily use Paint for this. Open Paint, then open your image, click the Resize button, then select Pixels, and change the horizontal number to 256. Make sure that Maintain Aspect Ratio is checked, and then click OK. Now when we save the picture, the name of the file needs to directly match that of the ROM file. My Final Fantasy ROM is simply named Final Fantasy VII.pbp, so the image, which is a PNG file, should be named Final Fantasy VII.png, with matching case for every word. Open the SD card, then browse to the ROMs folder, and then the PS folder which contains our PS1 games. Within this folder, there might be a folder named IMGS already. If there isn't, we can create it manually. Now we just need to drop the resized Final Fantasy 7.png into here and we're done. You can now reinsert the card and power on your Miu Mini. Here's what it looks like in the game list, which looks pretty awesome in my opinion. If we decide that we want to change the box art, we can simply replace that PNG file with a different one that has the exact same name. The key points here are that you should have a PNG file with a width of 256 pixels named exactly the same as your ROM file, and you should put that file inside a folder named IMGS which should be inside the folder for the system that the ROM file is for. So for box art for Sonic the Hedgehog on Mega Drive, I have a ROM named sonicthehedgehog.bin in the ROMs slash MD folder, which is where my Mega Drive games go. In that folder, I have another folder named IMGS with a picture file named sonicthehedgehog.png. Okay, so now you know how to add individual images, but what if you have a really big library of games that you want to get pictures for? For this, we can use a special software named Scraper, which will help us to download large amounts of box art all at once. The end result will essentially be exactly what we did just now, with PNG files named the same as the ROM files inside IMGS folders within the ROM folders, but it will be all done automatically. Browse to Scraper with a K.net, then scroll down and download the program. Ignore the beta notice and continue. Now, we'll create a folder on the desktop named Scraper and extract the contents of the download into that file. Inside, we'll find a program called Scraper UI that we'll go ahead and open. On the first screen, we'll be prompted to sign in. We'll continue without for now. Scraper will now download resources that it needs to work, and this can take a really long time. So while you wait, leave a comment below telling me your favorite game to play on the Miu Mini. Also, I'd love it if you could hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I just hit 300 subscribers, which I'm extremely thankful for, and I really love to share these tutorials and other great content with you. Once Scraper has completed its download, we'll be presented with this screen here. We want to select Recal Box and click Next. Now, we'll click the folder icon and browse to our Miu Mini SD Cards ROMs folder, then click OK. Check the checkbox next to Include Non-Recal Box ROM folders, and you'll see a handful of systems appear in the detected systems. Click Next, and then click Next again. Now we'll be taken to the main Scraper screen. I know it's a bit crazy looking, but stick with me here, it's not hard to get this going. The first thing we need to do is to check the list of systems on the side here. It doesn't matter if there are systems we don't have games for here, but we definitely need to make sure that all the systems that we do have games for are shown in this list. Mine is missing PlayStation and Genesis, so we'll click the plus icon and browse through this list using arrows to collapse sections we aren't interested in, and then we'll click the systems that we want. Here's Genesis, and here's PlayStation. You might need to select others based on your personal game library, but click OK when you've selected all the systems that you need. The systems that we selected will now appear on the left side, but we still need to make sure that they're pointed to the right folders. Here on PlayStation, it defaults to G, ROMs, PSX, so I need to change it to G, ROMs, PS. 
You can click the folder icon then browse to the right folder manually, or you can type directly in the box. For Genesis, I'm going to select the G ROMs MD folder. Most systems will work automatically, but you're going to want to double check any that you add to make sure that they're pointed to the right folders. Here's a list of the common systems and their folders specifically for the MiU Mini. Feel free to pause the video here and set your folders up in the Scraper application. One more quick note, you can go to the Onion OS Wiki's Emulators and Ports page, find the system, and see what its ROM folder is named. Here's the Super Nintendo entry. You can see that the ROM folder is not named SNES like you might expect. It's actually named SFC, which is short for Super Famicom, the Japanese name for the SNES. This page is the best place to check what the name of your ROM folders should be in Scraper. Alright, once all your folders are set, it's time to move on. On the left hand side, we'll select all systems. We're going to adjust the settings globally so that they apply to all of our systems at once. At the top, we'll click on media, find media type, and then click the arrow until it says image. You'll see two images in this big box above, but we only want one image per game for the MiU Mini. Click on the secondary image and click the minus button to remove it. Now to choose the type of image we want to scrape. Oh, by the way, when we use the term scrape, we essentially mean going through the list of your games and downloading media to go with each game automatically. Anyway, to choose the type of image, we'll use the second set of arrows to browse through until we get to box 2D. Actually, you can choose whichever you want. In my opinion, box 2D or screenshots look best. It's either just a flat box art or a screenshot from the game, and either of them those look pretty good in the ROMs list. In the box next to output folder, we want it to say percent rom root folder percent backslash imgs with an uppercase i. This is where the images that Scraper downloads will be saved to. Rom root folder refers to the folder that contains the ROMs to be scraped. For PlayStation, the folder is called PS. So in this case, the images will be saved to your SD card, ROMs, PS, and imgs. Next, we'll check the resize width to box and enter 256 pixels into the text field. Then we'll check keep image ratio now we just need to click on the play button on the bottom right, then click OK, and Scraper will begin scanning our ROM folders and downloading our box art. Note that if you only want to scrape one of your systems, you can click the systems on the right hand menu instead of all systems, and then press play. You'll get one thread for this process, which means that only one game will be scanned and scraped at a time. If you have a really big library and you want it to work faster, you can create an account on screenscraper.fr and donate to them to unlock more threads. For 10 euros, you'll be able to scrape around five times faster, which can be a lifesaver for big ROM libraries. Anyway, Scraper will let you know with this sound when the scraping is complete. And guess what? You're done! We can now open our SD card, browse to the ROMs folder, and then browse to any folder that has games in it. We'll find an IMGS folder containing all of the box art named properly for your games. You can now pop the SD card back inside your MiU Mini and enjoy the lovely box art alongside your games in the list. It really does make browsing your game list on the MiU Mini a much more enjoyable experience. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see covered about the MiU Mini or any other handhelds. I really enjoy supporting this community with my videos and comments. Once again, please leave a like and a comment on this video, and subscribe if you liked it. Thanks very much for watching RetroBreeze, and as always, I will see you next time.